Hey guys, uh, I just want to start by, uh, you know, on behalf of the Lakers, offering our condolences to the to the Stern family. Um, you know, David Stern uh, was just an instrumental uh, a man in uh, the development of our league, um, the globalization of our league. I think Adam Silver said it best: we're all beneficiaries uh, of the work that he put in, and uh, you know, to grow our brand. And um, you know, it's a heavy day for all of us. Frank, just to follow up on that, any personal anecdotes or things that stand out to you in your time since you entered the league up until the point where he uh, ceded duties to Adam Silver? Um, not really. You know, I mean, he, you know, I, I kind of came in as, as Adam was taking over. And, um, you know, so I didn't have a, a whole lot of personal uh, interactions uh, with David. But, um, you know, obviously you're in the, in the league so long and, and, you know, you understand uh, where the, the league was in the 80s and uh, the issues it was dealing with. Uh, it cleaned up a lot of things and, and obviously grew it on a global level. And, um, you know, it's just a, it's a heavy day. Thanks, Frank. No good transition to uh, today's game, but we'll try to do so. Uh, what stands out to you about the way Phoenix has been playing since they're starting to get guys back? And how do you think that impacts what the, the way that they'll look tonight? Yeah, well, it's, you know, to me, it's more, it's more puzzling that they had an eight-game losing streak than it is to see them win two in a row on the road and, and play well. You know, I think they got a good, uh, a really good team. You know, obviously sent around uh, a young star in Devin Booker, and you know they've they brought in some, uh, you know, some grown-ups around him. Uh, you know, to to have some maturity and and some veteran leadership and and all those types of things, and you know, really just stabilize the environment around him. So, uh, you know, they've uh, they've, they've got a great team, and obviously getting Aiton back is uh, is giving them a big lift, and um, you know, we're gonna have to be at our best to beat them. What have you noticed most about your team defensively over the last couple of weeks and just getting through that December stretch and now moving into the new season or new year, I should say? Yeah, I think we, uh, you know, I feel like we've tightened the screws a little bit in the last couple of games uh, with some of the things we're, we're trying to do and some of the habits we're, we're going to, you know, obviously try to build throughout the season that will come and go, you know, with practice time and things, you know, things obviously slip, uh, you know, at certain times. But I feel like we've done a good job the last couple of games and, um, you know, hopefully getting returning returning to form to where we were when we were on those been big win streaks, and you know, hopefully we can keep it going. Coach, as far as going back to David Stern one more time now, a lot of people don't realize it, but the NBA at one time playoffs were on tape delay, and he was one of the main reasons or the big reason why the NBA got out of that and why it is what it is today. No, and and you know, I was just talking to Coach Lionel Hollins. Obviously, he was you know you know a player back in the '80s and. Um, you know, he said there was, there was not, it's not just about the TV, but the arenas were empty, you know, and um, he, he was a marketing genius. And, uh, you know, he, he cleaned up a lot of things regarding race and, and drugs and the perception of the league, uh, cleaned it up and, and, you know, put our stars in, in, in a light that uh, was just really positive and, um, you know, just really grew our brand. So, you know, we, we really owe everything to him.